Hello and welcome again to see Long Stay Workshop where things, as you know, come to be looked at when they've looked at elsewhere and not had a lot of work with them. They come here, so I get difficult faults. And this is a Roberts RT22. The block is about. Um, we, 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 we built um, no set for the same here in Reading Wave Long Way one, one a while ago. But this one, um, it sort of, well, works and it doesn't. Let me just turn that off. There we are. Come into them of these some events. That's long wave. Uh, That's medium wave. VHF. Not a lot. There is actually a big tiny amount of audio comes through for a second but then it d disappears on us. Now, in a situation like this, most of the radio is going to be okay. We know that straight away. So, let's have a little look and try and find out what is and what is not happening with this one. Um, these actually have, um, have stacked IFs, by the way. A stacked IF, by the way, means that the same IF is used, same transistors are used, on both AM and FM, region wave, long wave, and FM. Now that means that in in, in most in most cases of this kind, what happens is that we can work out from that that most of it is okay. Now, first of all, I took out a screw there that was not an original Robert screw, which is interesting. Take, the, take, the, take this one out as well. If I can. There we go. Not putting up a flight as well, actually. There we go. So that one comes out. There we are. And then, of course, with most of these sets, the top should lift, lift off to the top, and um, it should then. Um, be relatively easy to work on. I say relatively, but um, some are and some aren't, which is uh, again pretty common. Also, with these sets, by the way, another an interesting trick, by the way, is that you can, in fact, uh, disconnect the speaker wiring and plug it in the other way around. This this gives us a, a, a chance to run the set um, with the uh, outside the case. To find out what is going on. Right now, the set is now out of the case after a, a slight struggle actually, and uh, the uh, battery is connected to the set, and the meter here is connected to the battery, like uh, like so. Now, um, these sets, this one has got a problem with uh, with FM. As you can hear, that's AM. That's long wave. That's long wave, that's medium wave, that's FM. And the going across the dial is absolutely not in there. Now, when you when we come across a set like this, always check the simple things first. I can't stress that enough. So start by giving switch switches here a good spray. And knocking it back and forth a bit like so. I don't think this will do anything, but we never know. Felix, uh, Felix is. You uh... just want to. Once again, there is nothing on FM. Now, in this case, we know, like I said, we know that the uh, everything from the boy control onwards is okay, and we know that. The IF transistors are OK, and we know, therefore, that the problem is either in the discriminator transistor, the discriminator circuit, or in this module here. Um, if it's in the module, um, we might have a slight problem. Well, the first thing we do is look and make sure that nothing is touching in a way it shouldn't. To me, it's quite, quite, quite severe faults can be caused by something quite... Uh, quite simple of this kind so um, 
to make sure that, that everything is touching where it should and not touching where it shouldn't. Which it appears to be. So Yeah, so it's not doing anything on FM. Okay, no worries. Um if we if we if we go to here go between stations and uh, put this near near to it like so we should be able to to get some AM IF a bit yeah well if we, if we get that then uh, we do okay so AM IF is okay so now we're going to go to the FM IF Whatever it is on his dial, and uh, switch that to FM, and see what uh, see what uh, see what see what see what, what, it, what it's doing at the FM IF, which of course is ten point seven megahertz on this. So that's all. What fault? That's all fault. Now I know that this is an AM signal generator. But you will get something. Why should we do? Get some, get something. Only, only very, very, very little on the FMIF. Okay. So we know, therefore, the fault is either in the FMIF or possibly in the discriminator circuit. Now, on these sets, by the way, there's a, the transistor, extra transistor on the FMIF. So we'll loop there first. Probing about uh, with it switched to FM and switched on, um, the, resist the transistor on the uh, between the FM discriminator stage and the uh, wave change switch had no voltage on it at all. It had 0.2 volts maximum on it, and um, the resistor attached to it here, which has, which appears to have something like. 3.9k, so up to 4.2, but 3.9k. So that is always the fault because that is that, that is actually open. Now, when a capacitor like this, a resistor like this is open, it can either have opened of its own accord or open because of the because of the, the transistor. So what I'll do, I will get one, put it in, and we'll see what happens. This. This, by the way, is done without a manual, by the way, because you don't always need a manual. Um, like I said with the um, the, uh, the Falcon Raid, I've got another one of those, actually, with, 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 with another funny fault, so that will be coming up, coming up soon. But um, the moment you see that there is uh, doing very little because it's not connected now. It wasn't connected before, so the problem is this resistor here. Now, well, again, why it's filled, we don't know. But... Uh, what, what we do now is change it and switch on and hopefully it will work right now I've put a 3.3 identify 3.9 and um, we now have noise or sound on FM as well as you can hear that's at FM medium wave So, therefore, it, it was a very simple fault, but with, with sets like this, <laughs> one thing which, which, which you must not do without looking at finding the fault first is going to capacity change in Hunt, because if you did that with this set, it will still have a problem. So, every, every capacitor in this, which many people do, and of course, it would still not work. Now, now, of course, I've got to clean it up and put it back together again. Now, cleaning it up is um, something, so, something that I can do now and something that I can do with it together. Um, I've, I've done this first, and it's a bit surprising what, what, uh, what uh, this cleaner does clean. You, you see, like that. 
Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, keep fitting radios. Bye-bye.